Hello, Boris Pravisham here, and welcome back to Grid Autosport, where I am going through the Area Latin V8 Cup, trying out each of the tracks in time trial mode, and seeing how far up the leaderboard I get in about 20 minutes. Now, I have tried San Francisco track and the Chicago track. Now I'm onto the Washington track, the Grand Prix circuit. I have never played this before, so I don't have a, a time listed up there. I haven't even played it in a uh, in another version of this game. I don't even know if it's in the other grid games or not. But uh, it's going to be a completely new new experience for me. So I wonder how how long it's going to take me to to learn the track well enough to put down a, a semi decent time. Um, not many people not many people play the grid auto sport game in general so it's not as if the the time trial standings are the most competitive um, but uh, uh, I think maybe the well I, I, I don't know even know why I'm in the vehicle tuning spot I have nothing no knowledge of the track um, yeah it's, it's not as if it's the most competitive community but uh, I think maybe top 50 if I get in there then I'm happy for this Okay, oops, so we've got a fast there. Not very balanced with those two corners, it seems. Uh, what have we got here? Is this a... Uh... Right. Okay, so this is one of those sweeping... I'm not a, a big fan of sweeping corners. Oops. Ah. That's mostly because I'm playing with a, a controller, not, not a racing wheel. Uh, which you can probably hear. I, I noticed in my... Oh, no. In my other recordings, the the sound of the controller, I don't know how to make that go away. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is a... Well, this game doesn't really matter. This is the sort of game that's made for a controller. It's it's nowhere near a sim. Um, but, yeah, it, it's quite difficult to get the, the long... Whoops. I mean, corners like that one are fairly easy, but then... I don't know if this is the same... Yeah, that... That corner is almost sort of a long winding corner um, that has maybe a couple of apexes or you spend a lot of time in the middle of the track. They're, they're difficult to get right with the controller because controllers, even though you you know with the analog stick you do have a bit of a, a room to play, they're still fairly well on or off. You don't get much of a, a mid-ground. Uh, and that's especially true with... Um, the, the triggers for using uh, as an accelerator and, and brake. They're, they're fairly well on or off. This seems to be a fairly easy track. It's a... Um, that reminds me of Turn 8 at, at Clipsal, that one. Um, yeah, it's a fairly fast-flowing track. There's not much in the way of braking going on. So I can make this one full speed, but then I've completely stuffed that up. Huh. That's uh, rather dangerous, having uh, a surface that, that provides a fair amount of traction in the middle of the grass. If you go off, you go straight into the fence. Ah, oh, I did the exact same thing as last time. So we'll remember to, to hit that apex later and to go in a bit slower. Oh no. Yeah, I have been looking for a... Like, I'm using this game as a way to get back into racing. Side of the road here. A way to get back into, into racing. I used to do a lot of it about five years ago. Um, obviously, things weren't as advanced then, but uh, because the gaming community is a fair bit more diluted now, um, there's a lot more games, and it's difficult to work out which ones are any good. Uh, so... I'm, um, oh, yeah, I, I'm in a, a bit of bother trying to pick, pick one that I'd like. So I want something that's a bit more of a simulator, uh, a motorsport simulator, not just any old racing, but uh, preferably a touring car. Yeah, I didn't need to slow any <laughs> anywhere near as much as then. Um, 
yeah, preferably touring car. I'm not much of a fan of any other series. Uh, oh. And, uh, you know, something with good uh, sort of strategy mechanics. So you can have longer races and um, have pit stops and that sort of thing matter. Uh, pit stops aren't even a thing in this game. Definitely got a break earlier there. Um, yeah, so, so strategy becomes a bit more of an option. Uh, but I don't want to, like I used to, spend hours and hours on the... Oh, slightly better that time, at least. Uh, on the, the configuration of the car. Setting the car up and have it matter so much. Uh, which, of course, it does in... I wonder if I'm going to get penalised for that. No. Um... I suppose it doesn't really help on the next corner. It, it gives you a faster way out, but on the next corner you're on the completely wrong side of the road. Oh yeah, I locked my, my wheels up there. In a proper sim I would have gone head first into the, the barriers. Okay, so I don't need to slow down for this one, I think. No, I do. Yeah, I, I just want to to be able to race close pack racing. Um, that's that's not uh, like the the AI in this game is terrible as well. It's all very aggressive, as if that's a, a good thing. But in racing, it's almost invariably not. Aggressive races are usually not the best because uh, well, I suppose in a short race maybe. Okay, so we, we can take this one not that quick, not that quick. I bailed over that quickly. Now here's the one that reminds me of Turn 8 Eclipse. I like corner. I like that corner. And uh, thank you, traction control there. Apart from the little kiss on the the outside there, I've got the last two corners down. Oh, I'm just going to restart there. I think I've got a, a... I didn't check the, the times. I didn't see what I should be aiming for. Okay, that, that was a bit odd, but at least I got through there unscathed. See, that that's just odd. By the time this goes out, I'll probably have my air conditioning installed, but at the moment it's not. Oh, come on. So again, I'm sitting in a closed up room. Uh, thankfully it's at night, but it's still 35 Celsius. So I'm just going to blame the heat for my driving? Is, is that alright? a nice little chicane through there. Might as well just make use of that if they're not going to penalise me for it. Oh no. <laughs> Very sloppy. Oh, we've got another one of them there. Well. You see, I, I'm pushing a little too hard now for my knowledge of this track. In time trials you're always on the ragged edge, but uh, I shouldn't be when I don't know the track. So it'll break about 70 there. I missed the apex. So it was slow. I wonder, you see that, that first lap that I set where I didn't know anything. I was going slowly and steadily through the course and it paid off in the end. It's still the fastest lap I've set so far. I just got to learn this section. I'm not as comfortable with this bit. Uh, this way. Just sort of feathered there because I didn't know what was going on. This one should have been full speed. But we're 
the lines are all wrong. Okay, so for the next lamp I'm going to sit back a little after I crash into this. That's going to slow down my next lap a little. But I'm just going to sit back and take it a bit easier. Try and get the, the apexes. I'm still having trouble with that corner. Okay, I've got to slow down there. I can't keep doing that. I didn't have to slow down as much as I did there. I don't. Yeah, you know, we haven't played a, a real track yet. I'm looking forward to playing some of the the actual actual locations as opposed to these ones. side of the track, shouldn't I? Or, sh no. Lost a bit of time there, mucking around. Note to self, swerving back and forward on a straight is not a good way to maintain your speed. Oh, whoa. Thank you again, traction control. Okay, so we're going to do it again. Just oh, slow and steady. What well, more steady? See, there I would like to go half throttle around there, but I'm sort of having to do this stupid feathering because of the the controller. See, if I find I don't have a good racing wheel, I've got a really old one that's that wasn't really good when I bought it in the first place, but um, if I do find a, a decent racing game, then I'm going to, of course, buy a racing wheel. Oh. Again, I was trying to go half throttle around that, but um, I just ended up cutting out because there was not enough play in the trigger. I'm, uh, I'm ahead on this one, so I don't want to, to talk and, and ruin it. Yeah, I still don't know this section. This side. Oh no. That was the one corner I thought I had down. Well, I still finished ahead. So I wonder if that puts me in the. Oh, I don't like that corner. I wonder if that uh, puts me up in the top 50 or not. I could have taken the opportunity to to check there, I suppose. But uh, I would have been wasting time. I'm supposed to stick to about 20 minutes. Plus uh, a couple of minutes at the start for the, the bit where I, I talk nonsense. Again, I missed the apex. But oh well, it was better than the last time apparently, because I'm pulling away from my ghost. Oh, I'm not going to recover from that. I'll spend the entire lap playing catch-up. If I did really well, then I might just get past, but it wouldn't be worthwhile. That said, it doesn't matter how pretty your lap is, as long as it's 
faster than the last one. Okay, that, that's a bit better. The, the strange thing is, is that my... Uh, still having trouble with that one. Got to remember to go in slower. Um, yeah, my, my want to, to race again all spawns from uh, space engineers, as everything has lately. Um, we, we've been making a racing track, which again, by the time this goes out, may or may not have been released. It's a bit odd recording in <laughs> in batches, recording everything in, in batches and then releasing them sort of... Whoop. At the moment, the way that uh, we seem to be doing things, especially with the multiplayer stuff, is recording in batches and then, say, doing two a week. So we can record in... Oh, we can record, say, four at a time. That covers two weeks, or six at a time, that's three weeks. That means that every weekend we can be doing something different so we don't get bored of any one thing. Um, I, I, yeah, and then this this sort of stuff is what I, I do when uh, no one else is around. Uh, and then I've also always got the, the Space Engineers stuff as well. Okay, that, that was a little bit faster, but I still didn't really know what I was doing. I'm on this side of the track, don't follow the ghost. Alright, I got that a bit faster. Is it just me or is my frame rate a bit low? No, it says it's 60. Which I mean, should be alright. It's just, uh. Maybe it's just the, the bumps. I felt like that was a decent lap, apart from the one corner. It was a little bit slow. I would have liked to have gone in slower there, so I wasn't breaking past the apex. Okay, slower. I could have hit the apex later there, I think. So I think if I break in and go wider than it than it feels like I should be, then I might get that. No, that was a bit slow. It's the apex again, but we're ahead. Again, it seems like the frames are dropping a little. No, I think it must just be the bumping. That was slower than it needs to be. Right. This is a fairly long straight. I think a lot of those bumps could be handled a little bit better with a better setup. I didn't need to slow down there. I don't need to slow down on this one. Right. So no more slowing down. Right side of the road, break at a hundred, and then I could have gone a bit faster there. I wonder if I get that all right, whether I can still take that corner there, the last, or well not this one, but the one before that at full speed. I've been taking it at full speed, but is that just because... Whoa. Um, right, that was uh, easily the best lap so far. This isn't. Um... Yeah, I'm wondering if I can take that one at full speed if I get it right. So of course I'd be coming in there faster. It might just be because I'm messing up all the time that uh, I do get to go around at full speed, and that that's going to be a hell of a crash if once once I find out. Could have been a bit uh, faster, but it's smooth, which means I'm nice and balanced and in a better position to get the next corner right. See, and that doesn't uh, apply... Oh... No, it wasn't that... didn't slow me down that much. That uh, definitely applies when actually racing, rather than in tram trials. Being nice and smooth allows you to defend an attack a little easier. I would like to do some races other than just time trials. I mean, I, I love time trials. I like just going around in, in circles. Oops. 
but oh no oh, oh, oh. we can rescue this but it, it would be nice to, to get a a few actual racing laps under the belt I, I should be able to catch up here because I know this section a little bit better now so if I leave it later than I think oh no that's not going to help okay I was too busy watching the markers rather than the road but I definitely would have been able to catch up then oh no I was just experimenting there because uh, why not right I'm going to get this last section because this, this will be my last lap so let's get these last two corners down properly a little bit overzealous there okay last lap and let's see what sort of a time I can set what am I going for 153.2 didn't uh, apply the traction very well then if I had a racing wheel I'd be able to drive manually as well I can't um, with the controller. It just doesn't come naturally. I have to go automatic. This is a fairly nice course there. A few corners I'm not a fan of, but that's my fault, not the, the person who made the course. I like that they've emphasized like it's obviously a course made for this game like with the the mechanics of this game in mind they've emphasized uh, places where uh, you could possibly get a penalty for like corner cutting and that sort of thing they've reduced okay that was a bit slow they've reduced the amount of them so often the inside of corners they've got walls rather than um, grass or you know something like that something open so that way there's more actual racing compared to okay that's better you see the amount of time I made up there you don't need to break it all you've just got to get it right I'm gonna break here though oh wide there lost some time lost some time So it was a good lap, could have been better, but they always can be. I think that's a good way to finish. Uh, what did I go? 151.8. Let's see when that stacks up on the leaderboard. Okay, please let me... Come on. <laughs> Don't like <my> game. <laughs> The annoying thing with games where you've got these sort of internet connections is uh, the menus are often slow as things load. I think a game with a slow menu is a is, is probably a bad one. Menus have got to be good. Uh, I was not expecting that. Okay, it looks like there's not many people have played this in this category. Okay, so there's not even 50 people. Okay, so that that's not as spectacular as I first thought. But it's still good. And uh, I think this merits coming back at some point and giving that a crack. Um, that's obviously not the fastest that, uh, that could possibly be done. There's a, a few names that pop up all the time. Um, I can't remember them off by heart, but if I see them, there, I know them. Um, of, of people that I sort of follow and try to beat because they're, they're good lap times. Uh, I haven't seen anybody on this page here, um, sort of the regulars. Uh, so either this track isn't uh, sort of a popular one or this category isn't a popular one, but uh, I am still very happy with that. That was a good, a good session. So thank you for watching. I'll be back soon with the, the next track. What's that? Barcelona. Goodbye.